5 to 10. From 2 to 10, 9 forms. Huh? Okay. I would rather say, no, but that's the way the scholars define. I don't want to say anything except the, the, the first form, fa'ala, I should call it form 1. But no, it's not done that way. Why? I would just say root form. Root form, huh? the basic form. Now, for the first time, we are coming to, in this lesson, we learn the following, al fielu rubaiyu, rubai, that was fielu thulasiyu, huh? al fielu thulasiyu, three letter verbs. Then we are adding into it, but it is the basis, the three letter. Now the base of this is four letter, four letter, al fielu rubaiyu. The rubai or quadrilateral verb, four letter verb, quadrilateral verb. The verb which has four radicals is remember each fa'ala, there are three radicals. So each part of the verb is called radical, radicals, you know, fa'ala, radicals. Yeah. And then now we come al fielu rubayu, quadrilateral verb. So we got Four letters, four radicals, four radicals. You will love it, inshallah. They are very beautiful. Tarjama, Tarjama, he translated. Basara, he scattered. Harwala, he walked fast. Basmala, see, <laughs> Basmala means he said Bismillah. Did you get the idea? Tarjama. He translated. Baathara, he scattered. Harwala, he walked fast. Basmala, he said Bismillah. Now, this thing is interesting. We will try to remember as much as we can. I don't want you to go out of your way to memorize everything. But as we learn the lesson, inshallah, and you write. If you don't write, we will never learn, my brother. Writing is most important part of learning, you know. So like the Sulasi, this three-letter verb, the Rubai is also Mujarrad and Mazid. Yes. Mujarrad means only four letters. Mazid means something is added there. The Rubai Mujarrad has only four radicals, yes. It has got only one form. Huh? One form. Okay. Durubai Mujarrat has only four radicals. Without any extra letters. No other letters are added. Without any extra letters. Which is composed of Tarajama. See, Tarajama. Now here it is something you will learn and you will try. You will try. Fa'alala. What is Sulasi? Mujarad? Fa'ala. Here, Fa'alala. And then, you know, Sulasi, Mujarad, it can be Fa'ila, Fa'ula. Here, nothing. Only one. Fa'alala. Try to remember. Fa'alala. Okay. Radicals. Fa one radical, hind radical, lam radical, two lams. Right? No, fa alala. So the second radical has a sukun. Very interesting. You will love it, inshallah. Now the rubai mujarat has only one bab. Yeah, it's only one bab. The fel solasi has got six bobs, you know. Fatuho dam min, like that, you know. Fatuho kasrin. Fatahatani, like that. Eh? Now, <clears throat> you why Mujarat has only Mujarrad, has only one bab and it is Fa'alala. That's all. Fa'alala. Mudanya will become Yuf, Yuf, Yuf Al. No, it has to be pronounced properly. Eh? Because this is something new, we have to practice, inshallah, Fa'alala. 
Yufa, Yufa, Lilu, Yufa, Lilu. See, four letters, Alamatul Mudariya will always be you. When three letters were there, the Alamatul Mudariya was Fatah, like them. But here, four letters, always you will start. Fahalala, Yufa, Lilu, Yufa, Lilu. So we have here Tarjama, Tarjama, Yutarjimu. Yes, when there is a proper thing we can pronounce. Yutarjimu. As the harf, as the verb is composed of four liters, harfu mudarya has a dhamma. Yes, we know that rule. So Tarjama, 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 Falala, you Tarjimu, you Falilu, you Tarjimu. You will say a few times and you will get used to it. You Falilu, you Falilu. Now, the master is on the pattern of nice pattern. Huh? Falalatun, falalatun. Yes, we have to remember. Eh? Only one pattern of master. Falalatun. So here, my brother, Tarjama, you Tarjimu, Tarjamatun. Tarjamatun means translation. When we say, we say, I think, I'm pretty sure you say this in, in Farsi, in Urdu. And in Bengali and all those things you say, what do you say? Tarjama. Tarjama. Tarjama means translation. They will say, Quran ka tarjama hai. They won't say tarjama tum. <laughs> they will say tarjama. So it means translation. Tarjama. We know this. Huh? It is common in few languages, you know. Now comes a some file. Tarjama, you tarjimu. When you make a some file, you have to add mu. Mu, mu, mu. Uh, mu. Mu. What will be the thing? The third radical has a kasra. Third radical has a kasra. Huh? So you will be tarjama, you tarjimu, mutarj. Mutarjimu, translator, Mutarjimu, Mutarjimu, the translator. And in the Isim Maful, Mutarjamu, it has a fata, Mutarjimu, translator, Mutarjamu, translated. Kitabun, Mutarjamu, Mutarjamu, translated book, Kitabun, Mutarjamu, translated. Now comes interesting and little difficult, but some of the forms are very beautiful. Practice. Now I have another suggestion, my brothers and sisters. Unless you are a Hafiz, already familiar, otherwise we have to read it and pronounce it. Read it and pronounce it. My brother and sister, it's important. Read it and pronounce it. The Rubai Mazid, huh? Mazid, Fihi Rubai Mazid has three abwabs. There are three forms, three bobs. The Fa'alala. Huh? Tafa alala, tafa alala, from fa alala, you added only ta in the beginning. Ta has been prefix, prefix to the first radical. This is your first radical, and you prefix ta. First radical, second radical, third radical, fourth radical. Tafa lala, tafa lala, four radicals. So, so I'm writing all in detail hoping that you will understand better. So now the verb. Ta-ra-ra. ta ra ta ra, -ra. Ta -ra, -ra. To grow up. 
he grew up. Ra ra the ra ra. So this needs practice in pronouncing. The madmana, the madmada, the madmada, the madmada, the madmada is to rinse your mouth with water. Uh, rinse your mouth, you know. The mud, the mud, the ra ra. Mudanya is the ra ra, yet the ra ra u, master, yet the ra, yet the ra ruun, yet the ra ruun. Don't worry, just don't worry. What is easy, you will do it. What is difficult, you will leave aside for the time being. But right, once at least you should write. Now, this is second form. If a lalla, if a lalla, so from fa lalla, we have if a lalla, where hamza is prefixed to the first radical. See, first radical, hamza comes before it. And second radical, if a lalla, the Fourth radical, and then in the end, we have extra. If Allah, if no, fa alala, if alala, if alala, fa alala became if alala, lala. This will be joined and get the shada. If alala, beautiful verb, it ma'anna. It ma'anna. What is the original? Tama'ana. Four letters. Fa'alala. Tama'ana. It ma'anna. This is beautiful, beautiful. It ma'anna means he felt reassured. He felt reassured. It ma'anna. Tama'ana. It ma'anna. And then ish ma'azza. The root is sham aza, sham aza. He detested. Now some of them will come in the Quran. When you read it, you will connect it in your mind. You will connect it. So now the mudarya is itma anna yatma innu. No dhamma. Remember, no. It is no four letters. It's more than four letters. So it became fata. Itma anna yatma innu. And what is the master? Very easy. Everybody knows. It it mianan. It mianan. We'll say for it minan. It minan. It's it mianan. It minan ho gaya. I'm satisfied. I'm happy. It minan. So it is it mianan. It mianan. Remember, also in Urdu, in Farsi, I'm sure, in Bengali. This must be used. Huh? This must be used. See, I written here the modarya is yatma innu, and the master is itmianun. I wrote it in a bigger handwriting. Itmianun, itmi, itmianun, itmianun. Not itmianun, no itmianun. In the end, uh, the noon got uh, broken. Shadda was broken into two noons, so it became it me a nanun, it me a nanun. Remember, it me a nanun, inshallah. Here is a beautiful verse Allah fi zikrillahi yatma innu kulubu. Yatma innu kulubu. Lo, in the remembrance of Allah, do hearts find peace, yes. It me an, it, it me nanun, peace, huh? peace. Yatma innu, to find peace, tranquility. Now I ask you something, simple question. Huh? It ma anna, yatma innu. Why there is a tatma innu? Why not yatma innu? Can you figure out? You should. But if you can't, doesn't matter. I will explain you. 
There is the file in here. There is the file of Tatma'in. Where is the file? Kulubu, hearts. Huh? Hearts. Our hearts, Kulub. Huh? Plural hearts, you know. Hearts. Huh? Hearts. So because Kulu Jama Monas, we treat Al Kulubu as a singular Monas, so we have to use Tatmainu. Did you get the idea? Not Yatmainu, Tatmainu. Here Tatmainu, Tatmainu, Tatmainu Kulubu. Lo in the remembrance, remembrance of Allah, do words for find peace. Alhamdulillah. Now comes the last one. Huh? So this was very beautiful, very interesting. This is kind of a tongue twister, but don't worry, we will manage it. And then the final one, final one. Again, this is a tongue twister. If uh, la, la, if an, 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 noon is added, noon is extra added here. This is extra. If an lala, if an lala, if an lala, fa kalima, yeah. radical number one, radical number two, radical number three, radical number four, this is extra, and noon is extra. Al alif is extra. Huh? I is prefixed to the first radical, you know. Before the first radical, I is put here. And noon is added after the second second radical. Huh? Noon is added after the second radical. See, this is your first radical, Hamza before it, second radical. The noon is added after second radical here. And then third and fourth. If an if an lalla, third and fourth. If an lalla, if an lalla. Oh, no, come on. Here we have, my brothers and sisters, the mudharia. If ran ka'a, if ran ka'a. Okay. Yafran ki u. Yafran. No, yafran ki u. If rin kau, if rin kau, no, all these are not everyday verbs, master, but it will come. If rin kau, so long as we have an idea, don't, I don't worry about pronunciation. We will be able to pronounce slowly. If rin kau, yaf ran kiu. Now here's the sentence. If ran, if run, if run, I must put a kasra here. If run, kiu. If run, if run, ka, oh, I'm sorry, no. No, it, sorry about that. I, we have, this is Mahdi. This is Mahdi. So we have, if run, ka, nasu. Ifran ka, ifran ka nasu. The people dispersed. Ifran ka nasu. It will, it will come in the lesson nicely, inshallah. So that is the end of the failed Sulasi Mujarid. Now these are some extra things. Some of them are very interesting. Very interesting. You will love it. You know it. Most of it, you know it. You will like it, inshallah. This is extra additional rules to Dr. Sahib. Dr. Abdurim wants us to understand. Inshallah, we'll understand. Yeah. They are interesting. This is a man. This is a man. And this is 
This is the man. Hazar Rajulu. This is the man. I would rather translate this man. This man. When you say that, Hazam will be Muptida. And this Hazar Rajulu, this man. So we are, this is the Badal of Hazar. Hazar, Hazar Rajulu. So we are waiting for some news about this man, you know. But this sentence may also mean this man. It's being explained. Huh? Read it all that. Time. The listener may think that you mean this man and is waiting for the khabar. Huh? Remember that. Hazar huh? Rajulu. But this sentence may also mean this man. The listener may think that you mean this man and is waiting for the khabar. To avoid this ambiguity, to avoid this ambiguity, an appropriate pronoun is inserted. Appropriate pronoun, which will match between the muftida and khabar. Yes, muftida and khabar. Now look at see. Haza huwa rajulu. This is the man, complete. Haza muftida rajulu khabar. What is this? Hua, this this is called Damirul Fasli. What is it called? Damirul Fasli. Differentiating, differentiate, differentiating. Oh, differentiate, differentiating noun. Differentiating noun. Differentiating pronoun. Differentiating pronoun. Differentiating pronoun. Yeah. So this is pronoun hua is a damirul fasli. We have done it. It comes in the Quran many, many, many times. These are the criminals. See here, this is the man. These are the criminals. He is Sayaratu. This is the car. Now the we we don't get confused. If you say has he sayaratu, then it does not give picture. This car, what about it? Now we say has he sayaratu. This is the car. How will I hunal Muslimatu? These are the Muslim ladies. How will I hunal? Muslimat. So it's easy, not difficult. The pronoun Damir is, is so used is called Damirul Fasli, the differentiating, differentiating, differentiating pronoun. This ambiguity also occurs in a sentence when the Muptida is a proper noun and the Khabar is an adjective or a noun. This, this ambiguity can arise also here. Hamidun 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 Laibun Hamidun Laibun Hamidun Laibu which may mean Hamid the player or it can also mean Hamid is the player. If we mean Hamid is a player, we say Hamidun Hua Laibun. Yes, now we use the middle firstly. In this Hamidun Laibun, two meanings are there. Hamidun the player. Hamidun is a player, but no, not sure, you know. If we mean Hamid is the player, we say Hamidun Hua Laibun. Here are some more examples of the middle firstly. Here is from the Quran, my brothers and sisters. Beautiful. Ulaika humul muflihun. See? Ulaika humul muflihun. Those are the successful. Huh? This is uh, Surah Al Baqarah. Ulaika humul muflihun. Zalika huwal fawzul azim. Zalika huwal fawzul azim. That is the great success. That is the great success. 
the real success is Khawzul Azim. But the use of Damirul Fasli, we must remember, is not compulsory. If you think that there is no ambiguity, you need not use it. We have in the Quran examples. Zalik al Kitab. This is the book. Zalik al Kitab. This book, no, this is the book. Now we have come to understand in the Quran. Zalik al Kitab, la raiv fihi. This is the book, la raiv fihi. Zalik al Fawzul Azim. This is the great success. In both cases, is, is, I'm mentioning is, you know, Muftida Khabar, is, is our connecting verb, you know. Connect, it connects Muftida and Khabar. Is. Kapula, is, is the Kapula verb, connecting verb, is, is. Fine. What is now? Now another rule. Another rule. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Lord of rules, my brothers and sisters. I'm not going to rush. I'll explain you as much as possible. Inshallah, then we'll start the lesson number one. Let us see how much we can finish. <clears throat> Here is another rule. If you are if you are offered something to eat with the instruction, kul haza, huh? kul haza, you can eat the whole thing, then you can eat the whole thing. You know? But if you the instruction is kul min haza, you are to take only part of it. Huh? In the same way, again it will come. So Kul min haza, eat everything, the whole of it. Kul min haza, take something from it. Take only a part of it. Minat tullabi man la yariful ingliziyata. Of the students are some. So this min, this min has a special uh, Arabic grammar name. Min tullabi. Man la yarifu al inclusiata. Of the students, of the students are some. Of the students, of the students are some who do not know English. So this min is called min tabaidiyatu. Min minal tabaidiyatu. Again, little touch twister. The partitive noun. The partative mean. Partative means, you know, of relating to or denoting a part. Partative of relating to a part or denoting to part. Maybe I should write down. I should write down. Relating to a part part or denoting a part you know so I have written here min so that you can all you can all you know see properly min i.e. min meaning some that is to say what is the meaning of this? Tabaidiyatu, meaning some, some. I was not satisfied in my own way. See, I thought tabaidiyatu, tabaidiyatu. It seemed seemed to me there was something familiar here. It was something familiar here. So I took my self, Tabaidiya, 
Tabaidun, you can say Tabaidun, meaning some. So this is Ba'ada. Remember Ba'ada. From to. Yuba'idu. Yuba'idu. Ba'ada. Ba'ada. Yuba'idu. Make master. Tabaidun, you know. Tafailun, remember? Tabaidun from to master. You know, what is the meaning of ba'ada? To cut up, to divide into pieces, to break into pieces, to divide into lots. All these meanings of ba'ada. So that is why uh, it is called min tabaidiyatu. Huh? Okay, so it is coming from ba'ada. Huh? Means some, some, some part of it. Huh? Alhamdulillah. Now, I hope you understood this. I, it's not mentioned in the book. I just had to dig up my own uh, resources. Now, here are some examples. Anta min asanil tulabi. Anta min asanil tulabi. You are one of the best students. Huh? This is Bugasi. Partitive min. Huh? Min tabai diyatu. You are one of the best students. Make a group. Huh? Anta min asanil tulabi. You are one of the best students. Huh? Tulabi. Look at it, asanit to love plural. You are of the students in the school, you are one of the best students. Compare with this, anta asanu to singular. You are the best student. You got the idea? You are the best student. Keep that in mind. Anta min asanit to or anta Asanu tullabi, easy to understand, inshallah, inshallah. And wa mimma razaknahum yunfikuna. Min ma, remember, min and ma. Min, min al razaknahum, I would say min al Maybe I should write down. Min ma, I can say. If I say this, Allazi, bin Allazi, Razaknahum, Yunfikuna, like that. Bin Allazi, Razaknahum, Yunfikuna. From whatever, and they spend part of what we have given them. Part, 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 part. Remember, this min makes it part, not everything. And they spend part of what we have given them in the Quran. Minan Nasi Yeah Minan Minan Nasi Man Yakulu A Manna Billahi wa Bil Yomil Ahri the Mahum be Mominu Minan Nasi Mahum be Mominu So and of mankind are some who say we say we believe in Allah and the last day, but they are not believers. There are enough mankind are some. Enough mankind are some, some, min, min tabadi some who say we believe in Allah and the last day, but they are not believers. Those few of them are not believers. That is finished. I hope you liked it. It's nice, interesting. Uh, and now we come to another rule. Hal ja'al mudiru. Hal ja'al mudiru. So now when you say, has the headmaster come? But we say like this. Hal ja'al mudiru. And this is Arfu Atfin. Hal ja'al Hal ja'a, hal ja'a, no, hal ja'a, ja'al mudiru, 
has the headmaster come, the conjunction wow comes first. Yeah? When hal comes, the conjunction comes first. And then the interrogative particle. See? First wow comes, and then hal comes, you know. But the hamza, the hamza, this is difficult. If you did not difficult, interesting. But if the Hamza comes uh, with a Hamza to Listefam, uh, Hamza of asking question, Hamza to Listefam precedes the conjunction. Uh, the Hamza to Listefam precedes the conjunction. Wow. Uh, wow. How will you say? Avaja al mudiru. We cannot say Vaja al mudiru. No, we cannot say that. Vaja al mudiru. No. Avaja al mudiru. So the, when Hamza came, it will always be in the front. Always be in the front. Why? Why? <laughs> I used to say in the class, because this Hamza. Is the farm comes to list the farm? She behaves like Queen Victoria. Nobody can come in front of her. Everybody have to follow them, follow her, Queen Victoria. We are are familiar with English history. Now here are the examples from Quran. Beautiful examples from Quran. Awalam yanzuru. Fimalukit samavati wal ardi avalam. Bow came, but Hamza starts it. Valam. Then, if you put hal, then you will say, Wahalam. No, but this has got more sweetness. Avalam. Yanzuru. Fimalu. Malakuti. Malakuti. Samavati. Wal ardi. And did they not look into the kingdom of the heavens and the earth? And did they not? Yanzuru, wow is they. Huh? Wow is they. Huh? Yanzuru, or lam. So lam will make it mansub. Yanzuruna, lam, drop the noon and make majizum. Fialun mudarion, majizum be as we noon because of lam. Fialun mudarion. Majizumun bi hadfi nun. Yanzuruna, yanzuruna became yanzuru. Alam yanzuru fi malakuti samavati wal ard. And did they not look into the kingdom of the heavens and earth? Kingdom of heaven and earth. Asum, asum mas. Sum, sum, you know? Arfu atfin. Fa and then thum, thum, thum. A thum again, Hamza in the beginning of her, this is conjunction. Thum then is a ma waka amantum bihi. Now, little complicated in a way, but it's a, the most eloquent leaks. Compose the sentence. I will say just for the understanding, Athumma Amantum Bihi is a ma wakau. Ma will be Allaji. When it occurs, when it actually happens, uh, I'm reading again. Huh? Athumma Amantum, and then you will believe is a ma waka when it will actually happen. But now, here is the beauty of it. Nobody can, nobody can make anything like this, but Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Asumma ida ma waka amantum bihi ida ma waka amantum bihi. Then will you believe in it? Huh? So you see, this is this is coming in English first, and will you? And then will you believe amantum bihi? Is a is a when it has actually happened. 
Now that is the translation, but I'm trying to explain you that then will you believe in it? This comes first in English. Izama Waka, when it has actually happened, now that is that is done. Huh? So you will remember. What will you remember? Hamza, Hamzatul Istifam will always come in the beginning and Harfu Atfin will come later on, afterwards. Huh? Precedes the conjunction, yeah? Precedes the conjunction. Before conjunction, Hamzatul Istifam will come. Why it will come in front? Because she behaves like King Victoria. Nobody can in front of her, you know. Okay, now here is another rule. Many ayat commence with is. Uh, yes, we know. With the Kala Ibrahim. Interesting, very interesting, my brother. In such cases, is is the object of the verb Uskuru. Remember, Uskuru. Which is always omitted. This, when is comes, it means there's a verb there in front of it, uskuru, and this becomes object, mudafilehi. If kal Ibrahim, so the, uskuru is kal Ibrahim. So in such cases, is is the object of the verb uskuru. Remember. The meaning of the above ayah is remember when Ibrahim said, remember when Ibrahim said, Uthkuru, Uthkuru is Kala Ibrahim. Remember, this is nice to remember, my brother. Uthkuru, always there is there in the front. Should not, should not gabrify you, should not confuse you. Okay, now, another thing, my brothers and sisters. The plural of mayitu, dead. The plural of mayitu is mauta, on the pattern of fa'ala. It is diptot, and it is mamnum in sarf. This is another rule. Huh? Just because the plural is a diptot. Plural is a diptot. Huh? Asirun is a captive. Make it captives, we will say asra. Maridun is one passion to sick. Make it plural, marda. Many people are sick. Marda. Charihun, wounded. Make it plural, many wounded. Jarha. This is also rule. Dr. Sahib is explaining us. This will come. Uh, all these things will come. So we, inshallah, you will connect it to this. If we are doing grammatical analysis, it will also come there, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Now, <laughs> now here is something Dr. Sai wants to explain us. If the monada is a noun with a pronoun of the first person singular, as it's mudafilehi, it has five different forms. Yeah, five different forms. You know, if the monada, ya, monada is a ya, is a noun with the pronoun of the first person singular. As mudafilehi. See? Mudafilehi. No. No. Pronoun. If the monada is a noun, this is the noun, Rabbi. Ya is a harfunida. I beg your pardon. If the monada is a noun, Rabbi, with the pronoun of the first person singular as is mudafilehi, Rabbi, and then Ya, Rabbi. This is the original form. Ya Rabbi, original form. Okay. And then Ya Rabbi, 
یا اس بن اومیٹڈ یا ربیہ یا اس ریٹین بت فتح یا رب یا اس اومیٹڈ اینڈ دا لاسٹ لیٹر از ا فتح یا رب یا یا اس اومیٹڈ اینڈ دا لاسٹ لیٹر از ا فتح اینڈ الف رب دس فارم می آلسو ٹیک ہاؤ سکتی ایٹ دی اینڈ یا رب یا رب نو ہیئر آئی ہیو پٹ آل دا فائیو فارمس ان دا نیمونک نیمونک مینس ٹو ٹو پٹ اٹ ان سچ این آرڈر اٹس ایزی ٹو میمورائز نیمونک ٹو میمورائزیشن بیکمس ایزی بٹ آئی ہیو ریٹرن ہیئر سم تھنگ یو مسٹ انڈرسٹینڈ مائی برد اینڈ سسٹر دس از ڈاکٹر صاحبس writing presentation presentation rabbi 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 rabba rabba rabbiya five different forms you know now we should not worry you know why we will able to figure out any time it comes the first form is the most frequent frequently used in the quran The first form, Rabbi, is the most frequently used in the Quran. Well, in that case, I will only remember this. When the others will come, I will understand. But just I have to remember that when you see Rabbi, just in the beginning of our uh, lessons, I say Rabbi Ishrahli. So that was Rabbi like that, you know. الحمدللہ we have seen in lesson 14 that if jawab us shart is a nominal sentence it takes fa remember ha ismiyatun taladiyatun so ismiyatun it takes fa wa idha maritu So, Iza has come with the shart, Maritu. Iza has a shart, Zarf. Tadam Manu Mana shart. Maritu. And this is Jawab of shart. Huwa Yashvini, so Fa has to come. This is from Quran, you know. Now, this Fa can be replaced with Iza Al-Fujahiyatu. Yes. It can be replaced with Iza al-Fujayyatu. Iza al-Fujayyatu. Did you get the idea? Iza al-Fujayyatu. Iza of surprise, you know. So here is a beautiful verse. Wa iza zukira al-lazina min dunihi. Wa iza zukira al-lazina min dunihi. Iza hum yabtash. Yes, tab shirun. When those whom they worship besides Allah are mentioned, with a zukira lazina min dunihi, min dunihi is besides Allah. When those, when those are mentioned, this zukira is, is a fellow majhul, madi, and a lazina is a knife fight. Zukira lazina. Zukira, Fielu Madin, Mabdin Lil Majul, Mabdin Lil Fata, Allah Zina Naif Fai, Bin Dunihi, Iza, this is Iza, it's Pujaiya. When those whom they worship besides him are mentioned, surprisingly, they rejoice here. Iza, whom, yes, Yes, tab shirun. They they like it. They enjoy it. Yes. Now, brother, this is from Quran. We have to understand it perfectly. Inshallah. And when those whom they worship besides are mentioned, when atu minha radu, atu. Utu, Utu, I beg your pardon. 
مجور آلسو وین دی شرط اوتو منہا ردو دس از دس از حرف شرط تجزی موفی الینی فیل و شرط سی ایم ایم ٹیلنگ یو ان ڈیٹیل سم آف یو نو ایٹ ان شاء اللہ ان اوتو منہا فرام ایٹ ردو دس از فیل و شرط جواب و شرط وین لم یو تاو منہا وین لم یو تاو آلسو مجہول منہا اذا ہوم یس خاتون یس خاتون سو آئی ریڈ اٹ ناؤ اف دے آر گیون دے آر آف دے آر پلیز اف دے آر گیون دے آر آف دے آر پلیز بٹ اف دے آر ناٹ گیون دے آر آف سرپرائزنگلی دے آر ڈس پلیز is a is a surprise eh? so i got here i could not find the meaning of just khatuna i could not find so i had to dig into things sakhita just khatu ha bab samia samia yasmau sakhita just khatu so this is just khatu here yes khatu هم يسخطون هم يسخطون يا يسخطو هما يسخطان هم يسخطون to be displeased dissatisfied disapprove of it you know so if they are given their off they are pleased وَإِن أُوتُوا مِنْهَا رَدُوا وَإِن لَمْ يُوتَوْا Lam Yuta, this vow is knife file. Minha is a surprisingly whom yes khatuna. They are displeased. They are displeased. Did you get the idea? Inshallah. Now, brother and sister, almost the time is over. I, I didn't want to rush. I didn't want to rush my brothers and sisters. I got a lot of things. I thought I'll explain to you. Uh, I wrote, wrote down this also, Rabbi Ishrahli Sadri, Yasirli Amri, that I say every time. I want to give you a detailed explanation behind these four verses of the, of the Surah Taha. Four verses. Huh? One, two, three, four. I will explain to you next time, inshallah. So we have here something that we will study next time. Now we have learned the Mudaf. Mudaf in book two, lesson 29. Yeah. Book two, you can refer it, my brother and sister. Mudaf. What is the meaning of Mudaf? You can have, I will write down here. Mudaf. Mudaf. When our first three radicals of the fail Sulasi, when second and third radicals are identical, we call it Mudaf. Uh, doubled. Doubling of the two last radicals. Ain and Lam. Fa'ala, Ain and Lam are identical. Now that creates a problem. Initially, we have all done it. You should remember. If not, you can revise it. I will not explain you everything, but you can revise it. We'll start from here. Huh? Next week, inshallah, we'll start from here. From number nine. Huh? Maybe I should put a line here. We will start from here next time. And then we, we see. We have learned the modaf verb in book two. Lesson 29. 
in all forms of mudariya except two forms printed in blue yeah these are printed in blue the second radical loses its vowel and is assimilated to third radical the second radical loses its vowel and is assimilated to third radical huh? so now let us see for 2 minutes or so hajja yahujju yahujani yahujuna tahujju tahujani yahjujna you see no nothing is given here so i will say something you know huwa yahujju huma yahujani hum ब्रोकनिंग प्रोनाउन केम Uh, and here there are no mutaharik pronouns here mutaharik pronouns came huh? anta tahujju antum tahujani antum tahujuna anti tahujina antum tahujani antunna tahujuna si दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल इधाम एसिमुलेशन ओनली द टू फॉर्म्स टू नॉट अंदर गो इधाम डिफिकल्ट टू डील विथ हुन्ना एंड अंतुन <laughs> I'm just joking, my brother. बगैर हुन्ना एंड तुन्ना घर में रोटी कैसे पकेगी? बिरयानी कैसे पकेगी? आप और मैं तो बिरयानी नहीं पकाएंगे. We are not going to cook like our sisters cook, you know. So now they are, they are. It's not that means they are attributed to मुताहरिक pronouns. See, this is a मुताहरिक pronoun. Pronoun. Which has got a proper vowel sign. That is the mutaharik pronoun. Now in the mudariya majzoom, the whole thing changes. The whole thing changes, you know. So we are going to study next time majzoom. Remember mudariya majzoom. Especially in uh, huwa here. लुक आफ्टर यू May Allah grant you happiness in your families, peace and security, and an excellent health. You know. So I will now. I will now pray. Will you join me in my prayers, my brothers and sisters? May Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala accept your sacrifice of time to study and understand the Quran, Arabic language as hasanat. Yes, may Allah consider your time sitting here as a hasanat. Yes, and there are ten times the reward. Ten times the reward. Allah says that. Huh? 
من جا بل حسناتی من جا بل حسناتی لہو اشرو امسال اشرو امسالی ہے ٹین ٹائمس دا ریوارڈ میں اللہ سبحانہ تعالیٰ ایکسیپٹ یور سیکریفائس آف ٹائم ٹو اسٹڈی اینڈ انڈرسٹینڈ دا قرآن اینڈ عربک لینگویج ایز حسنات ان یور اسکیلس آف گڈ ڈیڈس اینڈ میں اللہ سبحانہ تعالیٰ بلیس یو آل یور اسپاؤسز یور چلڈرن وتھ ایکسیلنٹ ہیلتھ برکات ان یور رسک ان یور جابس ان یور بزنسز ان یور کریئرس ان یور پروفیشنس ان یور ایجوکیشن and the education of your children. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with a strong memory and deep knowledge of Arabic to understand in depth the message of the Quran so that we all feel the miracle of the Quran in our hearts. Ameen, Ya Rabbul Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enlighten our homes and our families with the light of the Quran and instill this light in our children. Ameen, Ya Rabbul Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us all safe and protected from even of this virus is still going around. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect the Muslim ummah all around the world, wherever they may be residing from the evil of this virus. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect the humanity at large from this evil, the evil of this virus. See you next Saturday, inshallah. Uh, keep safe, stay healthy, wear masks when you go out and observe physical distancing and follow the guidelines of the health authorities. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatam وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَةً وَكِنَا عَزَابَ النَّارِ رَبَّنَا حَبْ لَنَا مِنْ أَزْوَاجِينَ وَزُرِيَاتِينَ قُرَّةَ عَيْنٍ وَجَعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّكِينَ إِمَامًا رَبَّنَا تَكَبَلْ مِنَّا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ وَتُبُ عَلَيْنَا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ التَّوَابُ الرَّحِيمُ سُبْحَانَ رَبِّكَ رَبِّ الْعِزَّةِ أَمَّا يَسِفُونَ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَى الْمُرْسَلِينَ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ جزاكم الله خير Take care of yourself and we'll see you next Saturday inshallah السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته